So I try to post YouTube shorts for the last 30 days to see what would happen. And so in this video, I'll be going over some of those results. If you're new here, my name is Indy. I'm known as Do's by Indy on Instagram and TikTok. There's now a whole tab for just shorts. And if you go on your subscription tab as well, you can see that shorts is sprinkled in here and there. But if you go on your desktop subscription, you can see very clearly that there's shorts everywhere. I mostly started this test of posting for 30 days to see if I can grow my subscriber list because I feel like it's been very slow for the past year. And so to be transparent, I started the year of 2023 with 440 subscribers and ended that year at 602, so a growth of 162 subscribers. And with that rate, it would take me about three or so years to reach a thousand subscribers. And we honestly just don't have time for that. So I needed to really pick up the pace. So let's go over the results. Um, we're going to be talking about how shorts did overall, how it affected my channel, and then which shorts performed the best. And to keep things simple, I'm going to be covering from the beginning of January till the end of February because I started this challenge in the middle of January and ended in the middle of Feb. Starting off with how shorts performed overall. So total view wise, we had about 29.2 thousand. Watch time was about 227 hours and we gained about 78 subscribers. And let's compare that to the previous two months of November and December to see how that compared to these two months. So November, December, we saw a very drastic difference um, of about 10.5 thousand views, 125 hours watched and only 44 subscribers gained so i feel like that's about half of what we did in january to february um, and just to make sure that these numbers were not necessarily a fluke i looked into september and october as well and they had very similar numbers to november and december so looking at the traffic source data um, we can see that about 87% of views came from shorts themselves and just looking at the average number of views I usually get from shorts, um, just at a glance, it's usually about a few hundred to a few thousand. So it's definitely a lot more than my long form videos which see about a hundred or so views. And then looking at subscriber count and see how that performed month to month. Um, a majority of the months in 2023, it seems that we were about a 1-3% to growth. Then we saw a tremendous growth of 5-6% towards the end of the year in like December, January time period. And then in February, we saw a 7% increase. Um, and if you look at the subscription source data, you can see that my channel has 74% of its subscribers coming from shorts themselves um, and about 25% coming elsewhere. So it just goes to show that a lot of my subscribers are indeed coming from shorts. So if this 7% growth continues for the rest of the year, I should be reaching a thousand subscribers by September, if not earlier. And then looking how shorts has affected my long form videos I've noticed that I've been consistently getting more and more views of over a hundred on my recent videos in the past I feel like I've been getting maybe 50 or so views on a video if not less but in the, in the recent videos it's been getting over a hundred um, so I don't know if it's because I've been posting more relevant videos for people to watch or because YouTube has been seeing that I've been consistently posting on shorts. That's why it's pushing my videos out there. It's nice to see that these long form videos are doing well um, because I have been posting more on shorts. Hopefully these long form videos continue to do well because we still need to fulfill the hours view to be considered to be monetized. Now looking at which shorts did the best and which ones did the worst, starting off with which ones did the best. So it looks like the best video from January to Feb was my paint swatching video which saw about 6,000 views and my worst shorts um, were tied 
between a bunch of different packing videos. I feel like in general I've noticed that my packing orders videos have not been doing that well just because I have a lot of those type of content on my channel already and I think it's starting to get a little repetitive for YouTube especially since I've been using very similar tags and the content is all kind of the same. There are times though that my packing videos would do well but it's usually paired with a very trendy audio. Uh, looking at the videos with the best impressions, those that people actually watch instead of just swiping away. Um, so those that did really well for me were these like random crafting videos I did of like me making Valentine's Day cards and then me needle punching and again my paint swatching videos did well so I think like random videos like that um, every now and then has been doing well for me. So those were my results for posting shorts for 30 days on YouTube. Um, and just to kind of recap the whole thing, um, it looks like my views and my subscription count has gone up ever since I started posting shorts consistently. And I think that definitely makes sense because I think this is more of a numbers game. The more you have out there, the more chances someone will find your video and then find your channel and then in turn subscribe to your channel. And then the second thing in terms of content is to not necessarily niche down. Like I said before, I've always done pack and order with me type of videos and those just became very repetitive and very stagnant. So I feel like I have to stop kind of doing those and bring in a variety of different types of videos. Um, I can still be in like that crafty art space. So just bring in some variety and taking that feedback to branch out of your comfort zone. And going forward as well, I don't think I will be posting my shorts every single day anymore just because I don't think it's sustainable for me to be doing that. Um, and plus, I would like to have the time to do other things as well, like making art and having new product out there. So that's where my main focus will be. I definitely want to be consistent with posting shorts on a more regular basis, uh, not necessarily every day like I said, but maybe two or three times a week just to have myself out there. And plus I want to be making sure that I have more meaningful content because I feel like for this test I just put out content every single day to say that I put out content for 30 days. But I feel like I will be more intentional about what the content is and from the results I will definitely be posting more artsy and crafty shorts rather than packing videos. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my results from posting shorts every day for 30 days. Hopefully this encourages you to also post shorts if you're looking to increase your subscriber count. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.